I'd like to thank you all for showing up this morning. I'd like to start with today's ceremony with an invocation for one Keith Bennett. Thank you for being here to all the veterans, families, and veterans day. Let's pray. This day, we remember before you all who serve in the armed forces of our nation. We ask that you watch over our veterans of this land, inspiring them to serve you in this country in every new and creative way. Comfort our ill and wounded comrades who languish in hospitals or homes. Lighten their burdens, relieve their suffering and pain, and restore to them the blessings of health again. We pray also for all those who have given their lives in the service of our country, and for those, our fellow veterans, who have served this nation both in time of battle and in time of peace, and are now at rest. Grant them your peace, and let perpetual peace shine upon them, in the good work which you have begun, in them be brought to perfection, that this land may prosper, and that there may be lasting peace throughout our world. All this we ask of you, Almighty Creator, in your name, Amen. Amen. At this time, if you will, please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. Come to our head, heart, present all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll have the Kingston High School alumni choir sing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see
in particular, our hometown hero, Ben. As many of you have noticed over the last couple of years, we've put up quite a few of them. I'm waiting for the final delivery of the final order. We hope to have them up by the end of this month. An awful lot of people were involved in making this possible. Mayor Shane Gow not only made the city's goals available to us, but helped us when we needed the support getting them put up. Either the bucket trucks or people on the ladders, whatever it took. And many of the people in the Kingston Veterans Association were out there early in the morning and the evenings throughout the day holding ladders, borrowing bucket trucks. It was an awful, awful lot of people. I'd like to thank everybody that was involved. I'd like to thank the public because many of you stepped forward to purchase banners, not only for the members of your family and your loved ones, but anonymously for those that might otherwise not have been able to afford it. As a community, we really came together on this, and it was something I'm very proud to have been a part of. And I do want to say that oftentimes I'm giving credit for it. This was not me. This was a lot of people that did this. We should all be recognized.
brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, and friends. Their service was just as important to our nation as those that now serve. Many of them carry the scars of wars gone by, some visible, some not. And many continue to serve in various vocations and frequently as volunteers. And some veterans continue to serve their fellow veterans and their families, even after their uniforms have long since shrunk or needed to be replaced. They serve in a myriad of capacities, in VFWs, American Legions, Naval CVs, VFWs, excuse me, Marines, Vietnam veterans, we could go on and on, disabled American veterans, there's so many veterans groups, as, as evidenced by the different uniforms that are here before you today. These men and women have paid their dues, but to continue to serve for patriotic reasons, for reasons that are very personal to each of them. The medals and badges they wear are a testament to their service, but the character and devotion to country that my brothers and sisters continue to demonstrate on a daily basis is the truest indication of our love of country and the American way of life. In the past, some have tried to tame our ranks by making false claims or by trying to ride on the backs of veterans in order to achieve their own selfish goals. This is also called stolen valor. I tell you this, if you want to see what makes up a veteran, don't look for someone who pats themselves on the back, or someone who seeks out public recognition. That is not who we are, or what we are about. We don't seek to have our name affixed to anything other than a small marker when our duty to God and country has been completed. Thank you. Again, call on the Kingston High School online choir for the singing of God bless America. <laughs>
we will reassemble in 10 minutes in front of the city hall for the uh, firing of the salute, the placing of the wreath, and playing the caps. We all reassemble down there in 10 minutes. Thank you very much.